Louis Michel Le Pelletier, Marquis de saint Fargeau, was a French politician. Career. Born in Paris, he belonged to a well-known family, his great-grandfather, Michel Robert Le Pelletier des Forts, Count of saint Fargeau, having been Controller General of Finances. After the death of his title-holding family, Le Pelletier gained a vast amount of wealth. He entered into politics by becoming a lawyer in the employ of the Place du Châtelet, a prison. In 1785 Le Pelletier was advanced to Avocat General. In 1789 he was elected to the Parliament of Paris, and in that same year he became a deputy of the noblesse to the States General. Initially, he shared the conservative views of the majority of his class but by degrees his ideas changed and became increasingly radical. On 13 July 1789 he demanded the recall of Necker, whose dismissal by the king had aroused great excitement in Paris. In the Constituent Assembly he moved the abolition of the death penalty, of the galleys and of branding, and the substitution of beheading for hanging. This attitude won him great popularity, and on 21 June 1790 he was made President of the Constituent Assembly. He remained in this position until 5 July 1790. During the existence of the Legislative Assembly, he was elected President of the General Council for the Yon Département in 1791. He was then elected by this Département to become a deputy to the Convention. Here he was in favour of the trial of Louis XVI by the Assembly and was a deciding vote for the death of the King. While in the Convention Le Pelletier focused mainly on revolutionary reform of education, promoting a Spartan education. It called for both males and females to be taught in state-run schools and taught revolutionary ideas instead of the customary history, science, mathematics, language and religion. His educational plan was supported by Robes Peer and his ideas were borrowed in later schemes, notably by Jules Ferry, Death and Later Honours. On 20 January 1793, the eve of the king's execution, Le Pelletier was assassinated in a restaurant in the Palais Royal. His murderer, Philippe Nicolas Marie de Paris, a member of the Garde du Corps, allegedly plunged a sabre that he had hidden under his cloak into Le Pelletier's chest. His assassin fled to Normandy, where, on the point of being discovered, he supposedly shot himself in the head. Other sources claim the real murderer fled to England where he died years later. Le Pelletier's daughter Suzanne, 11 years old at his death, became a national celebrity. She was officially adopted by the French nation and given the title, Daughter of the State. The convention honoured Louis Michel Le Pelletier with the magnificent funeral. His body was displayed in the Place Vendôme beneath the statue of King Louis XIV. Le Pelletier was buried in the Panthéon in Paris in 1793. His body was removed by his family on 14 February 1795, just a month after the assassination, on 23 February 1793. The opera comique presented the first of four performances of a musical treatment of his life and death called Le Pelletier de saint Fargeau, Au la première marte de la République française, with a libretto by August Louis Bettine Dantelli and music by Frédéric Blasius. The station saint Fargeau of the Paris Metro is named for him. A Chevros biscuit porcelain bust of Louis Michel Le Pelletier is on display in the Château de Vizilla, Isa. On 30 September 1793 the French Navy's ship Sejusant, one of two newly commissioned ships, with 74 guns. Over 56 metres in length and 1550 tons in weight, was renamed Pelletier. On 30 May 1795, the ship reverted to her original name Sejusant. Painting by David The painter Jacques-Louis David represented his death in a famous painting, Les Derniers Moments de Michel Le Pelletier or Le Pelletier de saint Fargeau sur son lit des Mort. David described his painting of Le Pelletier's face as serene, that is because when one dies for one's country, one has nothing with which to reproach oneself. This painting, known only through a drawing made by a pupil of David, 
is considered by scholars the first official painting of the French Revolution, a rehearsal for David's later achievement the death of Marat. Family. Le Pelletier had a brother, Félix, well known for his advanced ideas, and a brother A.M.E. Acute D. Acute Louis Michel Le Pelletier de saint Fargo, a noted entomologist. The writer and academician Jean de Messon is descended from his daughter Suzanne Louise. In popular culture, Le Pelletier appears as an antagonist in Assassin's Creed Unity, where he is depicted as a secret member of the Templar Order under Grand Master François Thomas Germain who believes that he is doing what is right for France before what is right for the Templars. He is assassinated by the protagonist Arno Dorian in the Palais Royal after he votes to have the king executed.